Hello? What? He is my husband. And he's not going to come to... What nonsense! How dare you! How dare you talk to me like that? Do you know who you are talking to? Mrs. Chike? Yes! Oh, I see. Listen and listen very good. Stop it! If you have the girl to talk to me, homebreakers, look at them. Okay. My chicken. <laughs> okay now. Hello? What? She did what? Please, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. How dare you pick my call? Why can't I pick your calls? Hmm? Are you not my husband? Oh, I see. It's because it was a girlfriend that was calling me. What did I do? What did I do to you? What is wrong with you? Mom, nothing is wrong with me. It's just that you should stop fighting with dad. My sweet little baby, it's not as if I enjoy fighting with your dad. But you won't understand. Mom, what do not you understand? When the pastor say that wife should respect their husband, are you not your wife? Are you implying that I'm disrespecting your father? No, not really, but... But what? Didn't you hear from the same pastor that husbands should love their wife? Huh? Does your father love me? The way he treats me doesn't look like a man who loves his wife. Mom, I'm sorry, I don't mean to upset you. No, 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 you did not upset me. The thought of your father alone upsets me. Just go, go, I'm okay. Sorry, Mom. Just leave. No, no, I'm sorry. Yes, you will see me soon. I'll be there soon, yes. Okay, thank you. Valeria! Val! Hurry up! Come on, where are you? Come out! Mom. Go to the car, go to the car. I'm coming. Let me we are... Go to the car, I'm coming to join Mom, we are... Oh, please! We are running late! Mom! No! The car! But Mom!
Look at you. Drunk as usual. If you are a good wife, I won't be out there drinking. Oh. Blame it on me. What else will you do? Everything wrong in your life is my mistake. As if I tied you on the chair. Fourth drink in your mouth. Useless man. Shame on you, look. Shame! Doris. Huh? You see? Why? I'm what I'm talking. Come, Doris. Doris, I I will deal with you. Come over here. Doris, if I get up, I won't take it lightly. Come over here. Come. Look at you. Shameless man. You will sleep here today. Rubbish. I'm just coming from the sun. God, great, great. Hey, Chiki, I heard you brought in a chimko. Sure, sure, sure. Whoa, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, my Isn't that a sizable commission? Are you jealous? Of oh, course. Cool. <laughs> 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 well, it's not possible that. I can't be jealous. <laughs> hey, mama. You know, it's easy, see, man. Oh. I'm hosting the guys after work today. Oh, I see you. Oh, sure. Man. You know, to celebrate and all that. You can choose the bar for tonight. Ah, oh, Chike, I, I would have loved to. But I have to be with my family this night. I mean, we have plans already. Come on, call your wife and tell her you will be late. Ah, oh, Chike. Chike, I'm sorry. I have to be with my family, like I said. I'm sorry. Huh? Okay, suit I'm, yourself I'm sorry, then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey. You're a pretty girl. 
Thank you. I was thinking whether we could just have an opportunity to meet again or for me to just give you a call. That's all. All right. Let me see if I have my card here. All right. I don't think so, but... Let the junior, let the junior wait. What is it? Junior school fees. Junior school fees? Yes, give me junior school fees. I told you before that I don't have. How many times will I keep hearing you don't have? How many times? What is your problem? What is my problem? You are asking me what is my problem? Yes, I'm asking I told you I don't have. Pay since you have. I should pay. First time I paid, second time I paid. I find myself amazed at the many battles we engage in today. Be it money or matters of the heart. Very few of us know how to fight the right way or understand who we're really fighting against. To win any battle, you have to have the right strategy and resources because victories don't come by accident. They come by the grace of God. to tell me that your PTA meeting was today? Mom, I tried telling you, but you said that anything I wanted to talk about had to wait till this evening. Oh, my darling. I am so, so sorry, okay? I hope you were not punished. Never mind. Oh, don't worry. I will talk to your proprietor tomorrow, okay? Okay. I'm sorry. Gosh. I'm so tired. Let me go inside and freshen up. See. Always say that. Eh? That's what mom always says. Because that's the truth. You will not understand. Dad, what is there not to understand? That if you love my mom, you won't hit her. Baby, what is it? Mom, do you think Daddy will be angry that I failed mass? You failed mass? Yes. How is that even possible? Mom, seven over ten. Oh, my baby. You couldn't solve three out of the questions? Yes, Mom. Don't worry. Huh? Don't worry, everything will be fine. You didn't know it, that is why you didn't get it. It's okay. But, Mom, Daddy did not like when I feel. He, he would think whether I'm a failure. No, my little sweet baby, you're not a failure. And you can never be a failure. Listen, when we are done eating, we are going to look into the mass and see why you failed it, okay? Mom, you and I. What? Mom, you don't know mass. Ah, yes, I agree that I don't know mass, but not when it comes to Jesus to mass. Mom, do you think it should be easy? But I've been the one helping you all this way. That was basic classes. Oh, I can see. 
You are not serious. Come on, let's eat our food. You know, Chike, I told you today I will surprise you. I will show you something that you don't know. <laughs> No, I hate you. I hate you, but now, but now. Definitely. I like to do everything I'm doing in moderation. Mm. Whatever surprise you want to give me, it should be moderate. Ah, yeah. yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. 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 How are you? You need us? Yes. They're your friends, yeah? Yeah. Can you pay our bills? I am capable. Get your friends. Come join yes. us. Oh, I began very, very tired. Why not keep it and wait for your daddy to return? He can help you with it. Okay, mom. That if he returns. <laughs> the time a responsible married man is coming back home. Eh? Please, I have a headache. Why would you have a headache? You close from work, you go to bar and sit there and drink until the bar closes. Why would you have a headache? Abigail, please. I work hard for the money I spend. What would be the use of money if I can't enjoy it? Why do you expect me to come running home after the office? What am I running home to? Chicken. What you are running home to? Yes. Hey, Chike, you have a family. You have a wife and a beautiful daughter. Or have you forgotten that particular fact? Have you forgotten this particular fact? Look, I work hard so you could live here. Abia. Do I have to babysit you too? Hmm. Do you have to babysit me too? Yes. Chike, 
Listen and listen very good. If you think you can behave anyhow, you know, do anyhow in this house because you have little change in your pocket. As you say, you are lying. You must be a joker. Thank you, Omar. And who is mad? Uh, eh? Who is mad? Chiki, I am not a joker. I am not mad. It is who is mad. You are mad. You're going crazy, yo. I am going crazy. You've gone crazy, yo. Now you get crazy. Uh, you are the crazy. Yeah. you transferred to your cousin how would you do a thing like that without telling me how many times have i warned you to stop giving my money to your cousin and that her lazy husband this is the reason why i did not tell you because i know you will behave like this she needed the money and i gave it to her how is it my problem that she needs money has there ever been any time she doesn't need money Their landlord was going to throw them out of the house. Where is she supposed to go with the kids if we did not help them out? Abigail, please. I'm not her husband. She's not my business. Stop giving my money to them. She is my business. Yes, she is my business. And the money I gave to her is also mine. Oh, the peanuts you pay into that account, does that make the money yours? I'm the one working my ass off to get that money, to end that money that you're throwing away. Hmm. I did not ask you to work your ass off. Yes, I did not ask you to do that. Valeria, follow your daddy. He will drop you off. No, her school is out of my way. I'm going to Abuja. I have a seminar there. You are traveling? Yes. When were you going to tell me? I just did. Beautiful as well as a smart. Who? <laughs> the Abigail in the Bible. She saved her husband even though he didn't deserve it. He was worthless. Aren't they all? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm here to check your house. You are Mrs. Call me Doris. Why didn't you call me? Normally, I sit here to just like when look, my husband was alive. We used to sit here, talk a lot, and um, made each other laugh. You know what I mean. Uh, there. Yeah. This is my dining area. The second most favorite place in the house for me. I have had a lot of laughters here, and I've shed a lot of tears too. Would you like to go inside? Come on, let's go inside and see the rest of the oh, dish. Okay, All right, yeah. bring out your phone. Yes. Might as well start taking pictures. Okay. 
Ah, smartphones. <laughs> I've always wondered when I would get one for myself. Yeah. You know, my phone, all it does is make calls, receive calls, <laughs> nothing exciting. <laughs> um, you have a beautiful home here. It will be very difficult parting with it. Oh, well, I, you're right, but I think it's time to move on. <sighs> I see. I will see how much houses like this cost in this area and get back to you tomorrow. Oh, oh tomorrow, let's see, what time then? Um, 12 noon would be perfect. Uh, 12 noon, no, I don't, oh, sorry, ma'am, I've forgotten he won't be home tomorrow. Um, 12 will be fine by me then. Okay then, so see you tomorrow. All right, ma'am. Where is your favorite place in this house? <laughs> Curiosity, the said, killed the cat. Yeah? But not to worry, when you come tomorrow, I'll let you know. Okay, mm -hmm. looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right, same here. Right. Take care. You do. Bye. Bye. You too. Bye. I can, I can feel anger and bitterness in her. She's angry. Very, very bitter. God, give me the grace to help her. Help me to help her. In Jesus' name I pray. My dad said he can dance, but only if he do it together with my mom. Like he started dancing in a funny way. <laughs> they were dancing like this. It was so hilarious. Like my mom, my mom fell on the floor. She was laughing so hard she could not even breathe. <laughs> You are so lucky. Whenever my parents are together, they always fight. Oh, wow. I wish I live in your house. <coughs> Emily, how are your parents? They are fine, ma. Okay. We are about to eat lunch. You are welcome to join us. Thank you. Baby, you know we love you, right? I just want to talk to you. Mom, you know you and dad don't talk. What you do is to yell and I don't want to be yelled at. Alright, sleep well, my darling. This is the price your kind of house goes for in this area. Oh, I see. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Abigail, what does your husband do for a living? I did not tell you anything about my husband. Well, He's a sales rep for Le Afric Laboratories. I see. Do you go to church? Yes, but occasionally, you know. Occasionally? You attend church occasionally because your pastor preaches occasionally? Mrs. Doris, my husband and I have been married for 13 good years. We have just one daughter. Valerie, we believe in God like most people do, and we go to church whenever we have time. 
I will appreciate it if you don't examine my personal life. I am just here to help you sell your house. That's all. How is your prayer life? Is it hot? I, I won't say hot, but not cold either. You know, I'm highly a spiritual person, yes? But why do you want to examine my personal life? Well, you see, um, I, I see me in you. I mean, what I used to be, I, I see it right in you now. I care so much, I wouldn't want you to step on burning coals, if you know what I mean. What burning coals are you talking about? If you were asked to change something, one thing in your life today, what would that be? Just one thing. Just one thing. I would say my marriage. You know, my marriage needs a little help. The only thing we know how to do well is to fight. Uh -huh. I am not too sure about that. What are you talking about? Uh, couples fight, they quarrel. I mean, that's all part of marriage, okay? If I may ask, um, when you quarrel with your husband, at the end of it all, do you feel like you've won the battle? Exactly. Oh, the last question, please. When was the last time you prayed for your husband? And with your husband? I can't really remember. I thought as much. You know what, Abigail? It's time I showed you the most favorite room of mine in the house. If you don't mind. Well, uh, this is where I do my fighting. I call it my battle room. Closet. My battle room. So you wrote every prayer of your life here? Yeah? Well, call it my prayer strategy. You see, my husband Luke and I, we used to do exactly what you and your husband are doing now. But I discovered it got me nowhere. So I decided to face the Lord in prayer. Learn from his words what he taught about marriage. He asked me to let go so he could lift up the heavy weight for me. I then decided to do more praying Focus on God, trust in his words, listen to him and believe in him, hope in him. I have never seen anything like this before. I admire it. I really do. But I don't have time to pray like this every day. Abigail. But you do have time to fight every day, right? Now listen to me. Just give me one hour in a week and I will teach you how to fight your battles with the right weapon. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. In any condition you find yourself Oh, go to God in prayer Since you have okay with the asking price I would like to add it to the list. That's good. Um, mm, I will think about our other discussion. Oh, Abigail, forgive my inquisitive nature. But you see, I see in you a warrior that needs to be awakened. Just allow God to do it. And then I hope God does his job. Thank you, ma'am. Do have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Take 
God. Please bring her back to you. Give me the grace to be able to channel her back to you, Lord. Awesome God you are. In any condition you find yourself, oh, go to God in prayer. Are you? Chicken, it takes two to make a marriage work. I am not your housemaid, you know. You have to do your part to make this marriage work. I am playing my part, my friend. And you should do the same. You think I'm your housemaid? Better still, your cleaner. between you and Eva. Me and Eva? Are you crazy? I saw the way you were looking at her. I hope you are not sleeping with her. Or is she the reason you don't spend time with your family? How can I even spend time with a woman like you when all you do is to knock? Hey, I am not done talking with you. And I also want to know what is going on between you and Diana. Whatever is going on between Diana and I, is none of your business. Get out of my way. Chicky! Chicky! Chicky, come back here! Chicky! Chicky, come back here! Oh, go to God in prayer. In any situation you find yourself. Oh. Mom, may I speak with you? Does it be? Oh. Val, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you saw what happened. I know you don't like what is happening between your dad and I, but don't let it bother you. You will understand when you grow up. No, Mom. I don't want to grow up. What? Yes, if all adults do is yell at each other, I won't grow up. Don't talk like that. Listen to me. No, now. Mom. I won't grow up. I don't want to grow up. Get married. Quarrel at my husband. Then fight. I won't grow up. Are you done, Kirsten? Is your marriage broken? Oh, go to God in prayers. Are you confused or you? What is going on? Nothing. Oh, come on, Chiki. You, you, you can't tell me nothing and we've been like this since we came to the office. Stop, okay. <clears throat> Stop, Chiki. Chiki, I, 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 you, I don't know where you started hiding things from me. You're your very good friend. Look, Dad, I am tired of her. I'm sick and tired of her big girl and her untidiness. On tightness? Yes. I'm tired of it. C come on, man. Come on. You, you married her. How on tightness and all. Chicken, marriage is not like food that you have to choose which you want. Okay? You have to accept it all. That is what marriage is all about. Um, wait, 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 Chicken. I hope you're not cheating on this woman. Dan, we've been friends for many years now. Ah, sure, sure. But with due respect, this is none of your business. Chicken, yeah, yeah, I, I, I am not doubting that. 
But since we've been friends for a long time, TK, you don't expect me to fold my arms and allow my friends marry you die. You're not preaching to me, are you? TK, for goodness sake, I'm a Christian, how do you know that? TK, I help people when they're in difficulties. See you in the church now. TK, I would like to see the church in you. Are you confused or you don't know what to do? Oh. Go to God in prayer. Oh, my angel. Why are you crying? Not the mom. My sweet little baby. Talk to me. You know you are my world. I can't bear to see you unhappy. Mom, why is it that you and dad always fight? My baby, I am sorry. At times, adults argue. It has nothing to do with you. Then, why is it that none of you care about me anymore? Hey, don't say that. Don't talk like that. You know we care about you and we love you so much. Mom, which game do I play now? Volleyball, my angel. That was last year. Why do I always go to Emily's house all the time? Because she's your friend. No, because we are practicing a new dancing step. Mom, who is our dancing coach? What price? Did I win last week for my debate? You won a prize? Mom, I begged you! I begged you to come! But you said you are busy, Mommy, why? It's okay. Mommy, why? I'm so, so sorry. So, so sorry. It's okay. I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Chick and I, we are completely unaware that we are breaking our daughter's heart. That man is off in his own world. Since he got that job as a salesman, he is acting differently. He cares for nobody else but himself. Our daughter is staying away from him, but that does not bother him at all. I don't have proof, but one thing I know for sure is that he is cheating. Because he's not touching me, he's not getting it from me. Obviously, he's getting it from somebody else. But the most annoying part of it is the way he uses flirtatious words on other ladies. Oh, oh, okay, it's enough. Abigail, just stop, please. Stop! Listen, we just have one hour to spend together. Are we, are we going to waste it talking about your husband? Are we going to try to find a solution to your problem? Which one would it be? I'm so sorry, mother. Just that I get very angry talking about it. You're always talking about the negative aspect of your husband. Isn't it true? He acts like the enemy. He you know? is not the enemy. You, your husband is not the enemy. I understand how you feel because I went through the same thing. Now, you see, when, when I was married, when I was, I was with Luke, yes. You know, I was fighting him thinking he was the enemy, but I was actually fighting my marriage and my family. And guess what? I ended up not even changing him. You can never change a man. And what did I achieve? Nothing. But I've never succeeded in changing my husband either. Exactly. Exactly. That is the point. Let's sit down, please. You see, the point is this. You cannot change him. You cannot fight your husband. Because your husband is not your enemy. Alright? You have to allow you God to, to do go. his job. Go to God now, prayer. what you need to do for your husband is to uh, Are you love him. Why respect him. Yes. And go pray for God him. God knows that he needs that. 
allow God to change him. There's nothing you can do. And besides, men don't like it when their wives try to change them. You can never succeed. So you leave it for God to do his job. You step aside and God steps in and takes care of your family. I don't even know where to start from. Well, where to start? Okay. Now you take this journal. I have some of my favorite scriptures written in there. They helped me. And I'm sure it would serve as a stepping stone for you. Make good use of it, okay? Thank you, man. Thank you. You're welcome. God will do it for you. He did it for me. All he needs is for you to ask him. If you don't ask, he won't answer. But if you ask, he will be there for you. And I know it will work out for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, to God in prayers. submitting his CVs, calling people, calling his friends, searching for jobs on his own. Instead of sitting down at home doing nothing. No, it's not right now. Why will he be at home doing nothing? No, no. He has to work out, work hard. You know, it's not that I'm trying to judge here or trying to tell you that uh, we are not going to help you. No. But you know, staying at home will not do him any good. Please, talk to him. Yes, you know, my husband is beginning to complain. I mean, put yourself in his shoes. It's not fair now. Just talk to him, talk to him, let him get something. Let him just start doing something. Okay, I will talk to my husband when he comes back tomorrow. Alright, just take care of yourself. Alright, bye. Dad, you know that this is just like rabbits. It's but not this just that like it's rabbit. No, I don't mean it's and you're rabbits. And you carrying rabbits. I don't mean it's rabbits. And, it's and they are deceiving people with rabbits. It's has a real rabbit. So that is that the way your ear is? No, it's just a toy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a toy. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, how was your day? Fine. How is Dan? Dan is fine. What do you want, a big girl? Mm, I wanted to tell you something about Linda. Tell her I don't have money for her lazy husband. 
Did I tell you I want to give your money to her husband? Yes. Because when you give your cousin my money, she will give it to her useless husband and he will useless my money. Come on, Chiki. Let's help her. If you had married a lazy husband, who would be helping you by now? Chiki, please. Even if you don't want to give her the money, do it for my sake. No. your mother, your people, your family, even your friends. But when it comes to my own people, it becomes a problem. Why? It's my money. Your money? Yes. No, our money. It's our money, Chike. Our money. Hey, we are still talking. And you call this talking? Woman, you're crazy. Oh. Let me be. Oh, you think so? We shall see. Come back here. Come back here. What will you do? Hmm? Please, make sure you don't give my money to anyone. Oh, oh, what? Oh, what, Chike? Oh. I am talking to you. Me, it's the husband. angry and makes mom unhappy. So how does it make you? It's sad. I'm sorry dear, but I don't know what to do. Maybe you should just let mom up and see Lindy. What? Yes, it will make her happy because the Bible said that there is more happiness in giving than receiving. Valeria. Sir. Go. Take that cup and go inside. Okay, sir. Um, Abigail, I'd like you to write all the wrongs that your husband has uh, done against you in that book. All right? I'll be back. If I do that, I'll be writing for a very long time. <laughs> then why don't you give us the highlights? I'll excuse you so you could do that, okay?
Four good pages. <laughs> That's a lot. I could write more, but you get to know the gist when you read it. Actually, I am not going to read it. I'd like to ask you a question. Do you think um, God loves your husband? We both know he does. And what about you? Do you love your husband? <laughs> Mrs. Doris, you are meddling. I love my husband so much. But he's now buried under a lot of frustration. I see. Do you think your husband deserves God's grace? Grace? I don't know if he deserves grace. And what about you? Do you deserve God's grace? Mrs. Doris, you like pushing me to the wall, making me feel guilty. Oh, well, that wasn't my intention, but going back again to the word grace. You see, the Bible lets us know that no one is perfect. No one is righteous. Absolutely no one. It is only by the grace of God that we're able to make it to heaven. I'll tell you something. Our God sent his only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to die on the cross so that we can learn to forgive, so that we can make it to heaven. By dying on the cross, he taught us to forgive. We need to forgive one another. Without forgiveness, we can never make it to heaven. I know. But that is so hard for me to do. And that is exactly where grace comes in. The grace of God. When you have it, it helps you to impact the same grace onto other people. Your situation is not alien to me. I had the same experience with Luke. Yes. I was so embittered. But I prayed. And I asked for his grace. And you know what? He gave it to me. I was able to forgive Luke. And I became free and happy. And that's all I'm asking of you. Mrs. Doris, do you want me to back off and choose to forgive him so he can run over me the way he wants? He will not walk over you. Because when you begin to pray for him, God will take charge of his own life. When was the last time you prayed with him or for him? I'm sure you can't remember. So you need to pray for him. And by the time you're free, you will now be able to face your real enemy. Real enemy? Yes. The real enemy is out there. He's invisible. He doesn't like to be seen. We sometimes call him Satan. He's out there to steal. He's out there to kill. He is out there to destroy. That is the one you need to fight. You can't fight him without prayers. And when you, when you destroy him, when you get him out of your house, because you know what? He's killing you. He's destroying your home and he's stealing your happiness. You're the only one that can fight. So I beg you, Go down on your knees in prayers, so you will have the strength to fight him. Take back what is yours. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. We thank God. Let us pray.
When it comes to prayers, the Bible did not specify a room for prayer. But the scripture does says, go to your inner room, shut your door and pray to your heavenly father. And your heavenly father who sits in what is done in secret will reward you. Now, get rid of any distractions and focus your heart and mind on Him. Acknowledge that He is God and that you desperately need Him. Now, be grateful for your blessings, but leave your needs and requests to Him. If you get something to confess, confess it. Ask Him for forgiveness and choose to believe Him. When He says that He loves you and will take care of you, then pray for the heart of your husband your daughter and anyone else that the Lord brings to your mind, don't wash it and take your time and then listen. my marriage. Father, wherever Chike is right now, go and touch his heart. Go and touch his soul so that he can remember his family, so that he can remember his wife. Father, I know I have hated Chike for long. I know I have no love for Chike, but I have no right to judge him. You are the only one that I have right to judge. Father, restore love into my home again. Father, restore love into Chike's heart for me. Give him love to love me. Give me the heart to forgive him. Give me the heart to love him again, Lord. Father, come into my home. Father, come into my home and bring peace into my family. Father, wherever Chike is, any wrong he wants to do, Father, be with him. Father, prevent him from doing that wrong, O oh Lord. Father, O oh Lord, protect Chike. Wherever he is, let your anointing be with him. Father, forgive him, for he does not know what he's doing. Father, forgive Chike, Lord. Father, bring back my husband to me. Father, bring back my husband. Bad. Father, because the devil has come to steal, to kill and to destroy. Father, I, Father, you say you will give us life, life abundantly. Oh Lord, I trust in you. I believe in you, Lord. Father, bring my husband back. Father, bring my husband back to me. Restore peace into my home. Father, bring my marriage together. And he took the blind man in his hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw aught. Father, take my marriage in your hands in the name of Jesus. Father, take my marriage in your hands in the name of Jesus. 
control over my home. Jesus has taken control over my family, over my marriage, over my husband. Wherever you are, come out and face me. Come out and face me, you demon. Come out and face me, you devilish man. Come out and face me, you homebreaker. You want to steal the joy of my home. You want to steal my husband. Wherever you are, come out and face me. But I know Jesus is the Lord of my home. I know Jesus has taken control over my family. Oh, my Father, my God, I thank you. I thank you because you have taken control. I thank you because you have delivered. Since you said it's your favorite, mm -hmm. I'd like to try it. All right, so let's go. <laughs> oh, well. You cannot steal my marriage. You cannot steal. 
in my home. You demon, you devilish demon, pack your load and leave my home. You cannot steal my marriage. You cannot steal my daughter. I'm sure you cannot steal my man. You leave my house, you demon, you ancient of darkness, you marry spirit, pack your load and leave. I challenge you, demon. If you know you are not afraid of the most high God, come at and challenge me. I challenge you. You are not the giver of joy. I am tired of you stealing my joy. I am tired of you tormenting me. I did not get my joy from man. I did not get my joy from family. I did not get my joy from my job. I got my job from the living God. God is heaven is my joy. I therefore challenge you. Come at and challenge me. You demon, fuck your Lord and go! Holy God, fire! 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 Fuck your Lord! Go! In the name of Jesus! I challenge you! What's the problem? Why are you leaving? I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry, I have to leave. No, 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 no. But you've not tasted a favorite drink yet. So? Maybe next time. But I have to leave. Chicken. Chicken. In any condition you find yourself Oh, go to God in prayer In any situation Mom! 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 Mom, fight it and trust by cleaning your closet. No, I mean, yes, it's needed cleaning anyway, but that was not the reason I'm doing it. I'm doing it so I can have place to fight in prayers. Mom, you're fighting God. No, my baby, obviously I am fighting, but not with God. Do you get? I am praying for God to fight for me. I am praying for God to help me. You know, I am tired of fighting. I am tired of arguing. I need him to help me. I need him to, 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 to fight my battle for me. I want to win. We all want to win this battle. Am I making sense? No. <sighs> okay. As you can see, I am very tired. I needed to cut some sleep now. Okay, I see. You're very tired. Let me help you. Thank you. Oh God, help my parents to stop fighting, let them love each other, help them to start laughing and praying like Emily's mom and dad, also help them to love me, in Jesus name, Amen. 
wait. I promise to be a good daughter. I promise not to disobey my parents. I promise not to insult my teacher. Not even Auntie Mrs. Jane that I don't like. I won't tell her that she's smelling. Please, I won't even care about that. Just help my parents to stop fighting. In Jesus' name. Amen. Darius, yes, I know you are the reason my mom does not yell at my dad anymore and she spends more time with me. I am? No, God is. But I don't know how to put it. <laughs> okay, let's put it this way. Let's just say that God used me to touch your mother. Yes, that is it. Then it's God you should be thanking, not me. I've thanked him, but I just want to thank you for not refusing to open my mom's eye when God wanted to use it. How about that? Okay, that makes sense. But I'll tell you something. When God wants to use you, you don't have a choice. You have to do what God wants you to do. And that's all I've done. You see, whatever he asks of you would forever be good for you. Alright? That is what my mom always says. Oh, she does. Yes. It looks like your mom and I think alike, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> hey. There that book of his is tossing that you look so serious. Huh. None of your business. This is special discussion between Valerie and I, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, oh, Valerie, would you like something to drink? Yes. All oh, right. You go into my kitchen. You open the fridge, not the freezer. The what? Please. Good. I've got a lot of drink. You go ahead. Thanks, Mr. Darius. You're welcome. You have an angel there, you know. <laughs> yeah, she is. You know, there are some days I wish you had a brother or a sister. But we were just so busy chasing our careers. I don't know if that is a wise thing to do. Is it that you're not enjoying your job? Yeah, I do at times. But I would rather have a good marriage than more money. Whatever you want, you ask of God in prayers. From your mouth to God's ears. Alright? Oh, did you get the drink? Yeah. Good. And what did you get? Wow, Fanta. <laughs> okay, why don't you look around my compound and tell me if it's a nice place.
<laughs> mom. My baby. Yes, mom. I saw your wall and I saw your prayer points. Mom, since you want to pray for our family, so I decided that I should pray for my mom and my dad. <laughs> and the pastor also said that God answers children's prayer. Yes, my dear. Even Jesus Christ loved little children's prayer. Like yours. That is the reason why I need to pray. <laughs> You're such a darling. Oh my God, I love I you. I love you too. <laughs> Let's go inside. What are you playing? Game. Game. You and game. The day you spoil this for me. You're actually influencing your daughter positively. And that makes everything good for us. You know, I have never felt like this before. When I started, I found it very difficult to pray for 10 minutes. But now, I enjoy myself. Sometimes I don't want to stop. <laughs> well, that is called the grace of God. In any condition you find yourself, oh, go to God in prayer. In any situation you find yourself, oh, go to God in prayer. In any problems you find yourself. Welcome, Dad. How are you, Dad? Fine. Mm. So, how are your studies coming up? Going well. Mm. Yes. It's all well today. Yes. Welcome, baby. Oh. Um, yeah. How are you? I'm fine. I can see you're very tired. I was stuck in the traffic. And I'm also very hungry. Will this be enough for me? Sure. Go in and grab a bag. Let me look out for something for you to eat. Thank you. has been going on around here. Some cleanup. Mm. I saw that the outside has been cleaned up. Yeah, Valeria and I, we did it. Mm. You know, it's not as if I didn't care or I don't want to do it. It's just that I got busy. No, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yeah, I'm sorry. I know you're at work. <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't inform you before doing it. But Valeria and I, we did have fun doing it.
as in right now? As in right now. Okay. I can kill for a total body massage mm. with my feet soaked in lukewarm water. <laughs> <laughs> Why I eat my favorite ice cream with cream on top, you know, and a popcorn by my side. Are you sure that's all you want? Yeah. Is it possible that I can get it right now? As in now, now? Yes. Of course not. Okay. Do you want to pray before we eat? Sure. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. I bless you for this meal. I double checked, ma. We saw the same thing from his last trip. This guy is really, really stealing from this company. You are the manager, you have to call this in immediately. Get myself a glass of juice. I'll be right back. So what are you serving? What is this? This is wrong now. Oh yeah, start afresh. Keep solving. My eyes are on you. Keep solving. Mom. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. I solved the other one. Where is your dad? The boss called him. And he left. Did he tell you where he'll be coming back? This match is hard. I'm watching you keep doing it. Look at this one. Is everything all right? I'm not in the mood for that you're nagging now, please. What is the problem? I just lost my job. Everything that I've got, yet they fired me. Everything is going to be all right. How? Ah. 
how can they fire me? I was their best rep. Come on, Tiki. No one is irreplaceable. Or do you think you are? Sure. I brought in more clients than both of you put together. So? Look, man. It's not your company. So you can be fired if you mess up. And you did mess up. You know? Please tell him. He, he acts as if he has forgotten why he was fired. Hmm? Come on, man. I thought you guys are my friends. <laughs> Let me tell you, he's lucky I wasn't in charge. Otherwise, he will go to jail for this. Look, guy, I know you have been jealous of him, but don't make it too obvious. Come on. Why should I empathize with him? Huh? Come on, guy. When he was enjoying his status as the golden guy, did he ever consider how we might feel? No. So let him just go. I know you. Batman, please get me some drinks. Drink. Yes, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. Where's your mom? I've not seen her, but take her closet. All are not in the closet. Mom took them out. I know we have been having some difficulties, but for her to leave the house without telling anyone, Valeria doesn't even know that her mother is gone. Wow, this is actually surprising. But have you in any way tried calling her on the phone or something? Yeah. You think she would pick? <laughs> well, you wouldn't know until you try. Why not call her? Hey, Dan. Abigail. Longest time. Longest time indeed. You just disappeared from our lives. That's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> Come on, it's not like that. It's work. We've been working. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, I'm so sorry. I left early. You know, you were sleeping like a baby. I didn't have the heart to wake you up. I had to see a client. Sorry. 
It's okay. Thank God you're back. Thank you. And you. <laughs> you don't have to go anywhere. Sit right here. Let me prepare something for you and chicken it to eat. <laughs> Abigail, I'm really very sorry, okay? I, I was actually on my way before you walked in. But don't worry, okay? I can always come around. It's my home. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> It's okay. So how is Mirabel and the kids? Oh, they are very, very fine. Um, we're fighting for them to be happy. <laughs> Please, my regards to them. Thank you, Daddy. We hear that. All right, baby. Mm. See. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> At this moment, I think I have to go. Uh, let me see your opinion. Okay. Well, thank you for always being it's there okay. for us. Come on, come on, come on, GK. It's my house, of course. Oh, wow. This is my place. Oh, thank you, my guy. Thank you for always being there for us. It's alright, man. What can I do? You're my family. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to see you. It's alright. Thanks. Uh, In any condition, you find yourself. To God in prayer. Why would she in any situation you find yourself? Oh, go to God in prayer. Valeria. Valeria. Yes, Dad. Come. In any problems you find yourself. They are mommy's oh, prayer strategy. Go to God she will her things so that she can pay in that distraction. Situation you find yourself. Yes. Oh, yeah. Go to God in prayer. Okay, you can go. Okay. Dad, do not need to be worried anymore. God is fighting for us. How do you mean that? Mom is pray for God to fight for us. And God always win. We don't need to worry or to be angry. God is in control. I don't know, dear, but I want to believe you. It's true, Dad.
Baby, are you okay? You know, I don't understand. I don't understand why you would treat me this way. And I told you what happened to my job. I expected you to be mad, shout, and rage at me for being foolish. I thought you would do so, so I prepared to defend myself. But now I can't. I'm sorry to say this. I deserved to be fired. Because I was deceiving them. And I was deceiving you. I was going out with Diana. I thought of cheating on you with her. I almost did. And you knew all this because I saw it in your phone. And you are still here. In your closet. I saw the way you have been praying for me. Why would you do that? When you knew the kind of man I had become. Because I'm not done with us. We fight for our marriage. Chiki, I love you. I love Jesus. I will stay right here and fight with you. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve you. I hurt you. I hurt you bad. It's okay, baby. I wanted you gone. Because I thought I could do it alone. But how wrong I was. Would you ever tell God to forgive me? Please, I need you to forgive me. I forgive you. I forgive you, my darling. I forgive you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> No, hold 
to hold on a minute. What? Did this happen now? No, no, no. So what did he say? <laughs> Sweet Jesus. But I told you. I told you the good Lord would fight for you. <laughs> okay, we'll talk later. All right. Oh, oh God. Awesome God. Awesome you are. That is why I always talk about you. Oh, Jesus. Praise the Lord always. Praise the Lord always. Praise the Lord with all my heart. Praise the Lord with all my heart always. Alleluia, my Lord is good. Alleluia, my Lord is good. Valeria. Yes, Dad. I need you to listen to me. I know I've not been a very good dad to you. And I've not been very loving to you, Mommy Dad. You both deserve better from me. But you know what? What? I've asked God to help me. And I want to ask you to give me another chance. Can you do that? Yes, Dad. I love you so much, Father. I love you too, Dad. In any condition you find yourself, oh, She did what? Please, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. How dare you pick my call? Why can't I pick your calls? Hmm? Are you not my husband? Oh, I see. It's because it was your girlfriend that was calling you. Ah! 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 I know. Just answer it. Hello? 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 What's rubbish? <sighs> she hung up. Huh? Can we go back to our game? Yes. Right. Yeah. You can't join us? No, 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 no. I'll rather watch. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. it's ah, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Thought, mm -hmm. No, no, it's not your turn. It's not your turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! I'm jealous. You know? <laughs> I'm doing here, Chiki. Yes. I've been calling you and you've refused to pick my call. You didn't even call back. What did I do? You did not do anything, Diana. I was the person that was in the wrong. I shouldn't have encouraged you knowing that I'm married. Forgive me for stepping out, but I'm not that kind of person anymore. Now you want to leave. You want to dump me after everything, huh? But we only had few drinks. Nothing more. 
Okay. Now let's see who your wife is going to be. My wife already knew about us and she forgave me. <laughs> your wife knew. You lied, Chike. Your wife will never believe you. That was my wife you knew. She's a different person now. And we are different people now. Because we have allowed Jesus to take over our lives. You should do the same. Give him a chance to come into your life and change your life for the better. Mm. Now let's see who your wife and her Jesus will believe. Come, Chike, please. Stay out. Stay out. Stand up. Come. Look. Stay out of this place. Chike. Chike. Stay out of this don't place. Don't try to stop you. Stand Chike. Don't stay out of stop this place. What is happening here? Young lady, who are you and why are you dragging the gate with my husband? Your husband, he didn't tell me that he's married. And he told me that he wanted to marry me. Now he wants to dump me after everything. Oh, you must be Diana. Yeah, do you know my name? Yes. My husband told me about you. And he told you that he has been sleeping with me. Hey. I didn't. Chike, please tell the poor woman the truth. You did a mistake, right? Actually, my husband told me what transpired between both of you. And you know what? I believe him. He lied to you and you believed him? Um, Diana. Oh. You see, Diana, my husband and I have given God the chance in our home. We've accepted Christ in our marriage. I will advise you do the same. He is the only Savior. He is the only savior. He is the only one who can save you. He is the best life ever. Give your life to Christ and you will never remain the same. If you don't mind, excuse me. Darling, can you come with me inside? I want to show you something. Sure. This one, you're this happy. What is it? God has won. What? Dad no longer yell at you anymore. He does not hate you. He loves you and he also loves me. He told me that. And guess what? I'm no longer going to live in Emily House again. My house is better. <laughs> My dear, that's what happens when you give God the control over your home. I will always give God control when I grow up. <laughs> oh, now you want to grow up? Yeah, when I grow up, I would like to be like you are now, not before. I guess I was terrible. Yeah, that was in the past. <laughs> punch you. I'm, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> so tell me, what are we going to eat for dinner today? Just stealing their money. You were stealing their product. This is too much. 
What are you going to do now? What do you want me to do? No. You did this. What are you going to do? Now I'm out of job. If we sell these, we can raise some money. If that is what you've decided to do, why are you hesitating then? Why are you sitting down here worrying over it? Because I know that's not the right thing to do. I'm a changed person now. But if I sell this, but if I return this, I might go to jail. Yet you can't keep it. Because it's not yours. I know. I just believe in God. Let's trust in Him. He will take care of everything. Huh? Please pray for me. God will see us through in this. <sighs> yes, Sika. Um, thank you, sir. I appreciate the fact that you let me come here. I've come to return the things I took from this company and to apologize for taking them. Thanks. Yes. They are the samples I kept for myself. So you were stealing samples from the company and selling them? I mean, let me get this. This company gave you a high salary and commission. And you thank them by stealing from them. You know you'll be prosecuted for, for, for this. Joe. Sorry, sir. Chike, why will you bring this? back now. So, why will you bring this back now? I needed to confess to you, sir, and ask for your forgiveness. Forgiveness? How long have you been doing this? And how much did you make from it? Joe, hold on. It doesn't make sense for you to do this after your job has been terminated. I understand that, sir. But I needed to make things right with my God, my family, and with you. I'm ready to accept whatever decision you take. Including arrest? Whatever the consequence. Good. That makes it easier for us. So I call the security, sir. Hold on. Shike, do you stand by our ways? Yes, sir. Sure? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, just give me two days for me to take about this. Two days? For what, sir? Don't worry. You will hear from us in two days' time. All right. Damn. Thank you very much, sir. Four points down. Yes. Four points down. I do. Four points down. Yes. 
Let's I'll do read it. Again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Uh uh. Okay, let's do it again. Ah! I got you. Yeah. Go. I got you. Oh God! You see, right now, you're here now. I'm the champion. I'm the champion. I'm the champion. Oh, yeah, that is here. That is here. Did he seem angry? I couldn't tell. I don't know what to do. It's okay. You did the right thing. Don't worry. You just did the perfect thing. Let's hand everything to God. He will take care of everything. I could go to jail. You never can tell. Don't worry yourself, okay? Let's hand everything to God. Let's go inside. Let's go. Father Lord, forgive my father and don't let him go to jail. He's not a bad person. I'm sorry he took tears that have not healed. He's sorry he did it. Forgive him, but don't let him go to jail. He not play with me and my friend. He's a good daddy. He wouldn't Emily said so. Father Lord, forgive him. I don't let him go to jail. For in Jesus' name, he may. Father Lord, I wanted to ask for a brother again. But I don't want to be selfish. Forgive my daddy. Then I'll ask for a brother again. That is better. In Jesus' name, amen. Take that, take that, take that. Yeah, 
are you bad? Why are you serious? Don't do it, can you watch it? I know you were not expecting me. Um, I want to talk to you. Do you have a minute? Sure. Come on. I'm <coughs> Chike. I've been thinking about your visit. Probably for the past two days now. What he did was wrong, and I was disappointed. I'm sorry. We fired six men before, and life went on. Then you shoot back. I've not seen a man that did what you have done. Taking absolute responsibility of the wrongdoers irrespective of the consequences. I've been thinking, why? Why would he do that? The only answer was your sincerity to make things right. When that you regretted what you did. Okay. I've chosen to take you by our ways. I will not give you back your job. But I've decided not to prosecute. The 
best thing for you to do is to return the money you stole for the company. That's all. Yes, sir. We've already decided on that, sir. Okay. Um, if you can make an agreement as regards that, I think all of us will be good, if you don't mind. No, I don't mind. That is done. Okay. I will take my leave. So we come to the office and sign those papers. Yes, sir. Uh, let me see you up, sir. Okay. <clears throat> have been praying inside this house. Oh, yeah, this is a closet, a praying closet. Oh, no wonder. I felt it. I felt it. So, I will have the house. Really? Yeah. Wow. I will pay for it. Okay. Thank you. You are blessed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You must be Abigail. And you're James? Yeah. Val? Yes, sir. Okay, you're welcome. You're the city bank manager? Oh, yes, I am. Doris's son? Yes. Wow. Hey! Oh. My friends are here. Yeah, Mom. <laughs> Abigail. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My lovely Valerie. How are you? Alright, mom. I have to go inside and something. Your excuse. <laughs> Thank you. Please sit down. Wow. So how are we? I'm fine. You didn't tell me your son is the city bank manager. Oh, James. <laughs> yes, he is. 
Come here. I have good news for you. Ah, uh, wait, let me tell you what it is. You want to tell me that a minister of God has taken over my place? You see what I'm talking about? This is the kind of relationship I want with God. I want him speaking to me directly. I hear you. Well, for your information, your daughter sent me a text telling me that a woman of God wants to take the place and then she also told me you were on your way here. How? Don't be angry, Mom. I'm not testing anyone on my new phone. <laughs> well, you got her a phone. What do you expect? Okay, baby, go inside. Let James give you something to drink. Okay. Besides, they shouldn't get to get some. Yes. <laughs> And guess what? I love this smartphone. Yeah. I've been able to download some um, prayers, prayer apps, and uh, music apps, religious music. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it. Wow. Mm. That is nice. <laughs> Dude. So how have you been? Yeah. Mrs. Doris, I can't tell you how much our friendship means to me. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Same here, I promise you that. <sighs> well... I didn't realize how bad my situation was. I was tired of being sad, of doing the same thing over and over again. I needed someone to wake me up. You are God's gift to me. I am so happy that I found you. No, I am the lucky one. I am so glad I found you. Well, that's good. I can't imagine how much your prayers and passion would have meant to your husband. I wish I had met him. <sighs> you know, I wasn't the same kind of woman that I am now. Then it was different. You see, when my husband Luke died, we were not in good terms. His job relegated me to the background. I was so embittered. We quarreled each day, we were at each other's neck. We would never agree on anything. I was so angry. I, I, I didn't even listen. When God was trying to tell me to pray for him, when God was there trying to make me feel for him and be there for it. I, I didn't even listen. You know, you know what? And the scar is still there. Oh, I have no choice but to, to go to God in prayers. And He gave me the grace that I needed. But you know what? The scar never leaves you. It's a reminder of what you've been through. And then I promised God that if I'm able to come out of this, I will try and influence another person. Another person that, that is... Another person that was... Oh, another person that is like what I used to be. I promised I would teach the person how to pray, how to use prayers as a weapon to fight their battles. And then I promised God that I was going to help somebody that was in the same kind of situation I was in then. And then when I found you, I knew that I had to do something. And I'm glad I've been able to teach you the weapons that you need to fight your battle. And I need you to promise me that you would also teach someone else, someone in your kind of situation, how to battle this evil, this evil that is devouring our marriages. Give them the weapons, tell them the weapons. Quote the Bible, tell them the passages, tell them to walk out in grace. So we can win this battle against 
Satan and what he's doing in present day marriages. Would you do that for me? I promise you, by his grace. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. Yes. Have you noticed that your boobs are getting bigger? <laughs> You're pregnant. I was going to tell you later. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Oh my dear, such a happy day. Oh my little princess, you're going to have a brother or a sister. Hey! Brother. Well, that will be the Lord's choice. You will get what he decides. Then I have to pray harder because he always answers my prayers. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <gasps> Hello. Yes, sir. I'll be there first thing Monday morning. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. What was that? Oh, my God. Global update. I'll be starting work there first thing Monday morning. <coughs> this God is embarrassing me with blessings. Oh my God, this, this is God. what God. 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 On Sunday morning, I will testify and also render my special number. Oh, that will be great. That will be great. That will be great. <laughs> Jesus. 